Hey there, YouTube. I'm going to bet that you've picked this video because you have a YZ250F and you're having a hard time starting it. And there's a ton of different information forums and websites out there with all kinds of conflicting information out there. Now, I'm a mechanic for over 20 years. Uh, obviously, if you follow the channel, you know I teach a motorcycle technician program. And my customer brought this in and uh, said had a complaint of hard starting, especially when it gets hot. So you can Google anything and find out that this is a real common problem. Number one, the owner's or service manual is going to be a great resource to say, do this, do this, do this, and do this. Before you even worry about how these are hard to start, first off, you have to have some things in order. Checklist on this. Valve clearance is good. Carb is good. Baseline settings are good. The 2001 to 2002s use a procedure with a lever on the handlebar, kick it to top dead center, and then uh, um, pull the lever, kick it a couple times, and, and that procedure works pretty good. Well, this is a 2001, but it has the 2003 decompression cam in it. And what we know about a decomp cam is you should be able to just freaking whirl that thing and it should fire right up. That wasn't happening for me last night. I got this thing all together. My, you saw me, my other videos I just did on the carb on this and air filter and electrical. And I mean, it's, it was stupid. I'm going to show you a picture here in a second <clears throat> of the hole I put in my boot kicking this thing over so many times. So, how many mechanics got a pile of these broken boots because you weren't thinking and you used a regular work boot trying to kick over a dang Kickstarter? Uh, had to walk away from it. Uh, got the next morning, did some more research, and thought, you know, I'm just going to give that a try again and make sure and, and uh, do some of the recommendations. And one of those recommendations is don't touch the throttle. Why don't we go over how to start this cold. I'm going to show you guys that the engine is completely cold. I'm going to get it fully warmed up shut it off and show you the heart, uh, hot start procedure as well. So let's just go ahead and get to it. First thing that you want to do is I'm finding don't touch the throttle. You want to touch it so bad and it just caused me to flood the engine. That's why I'm kicking it a hundred times. So if you have to even move your hand over here, some people are doing that so that they didn't accidentally while kicking uh, operate the accelerator pump. So. Uh, as long as the carburetor is full of fuel, you shouldn't have to turn your gas valve on. You should. You can see here I got in a little auxiliary tank. But I had no issues with going ahead and turning the fuel on because I have my carburetor is good to go. Uh, you got two little knobs here you're going to see. This is the choke, the black one, or fuel enrichener would be the proper term. You're going to go ahead and pull that. Leave this one in. There's no. If you have to do them both, there's something wrong with the carburetor. If your combination requires both once again there's something going on with your carb so you pull the choke we'll get to this one later and then we're going to go around and i just wanted to prove that this is a completely cold engine it's been sitting all day you can see here i mean room temperature i'm gonna go ahead and kick this thing like a mother and uh should fire right up for us the other thing i can't stress enough put on a good boot this is gonna be a good demonstration of how to start yz up uh 250F cold. Now, once again, I don't have the lever on the handlebar. I'm going to still use that procedure even though I don't have a lever on this one. That'll help you 2001 to 2002 people out. Kick it until I feel it get hard. Let it re-ratchet. And now... I want to prove here that this was a, a cold engine that I'm going to get to full temp to show you that when tuned right uh, and using the procedures outlined in the manual and, and common to uh, be successful on forums, this works great. Check it out. Here's a couple of big pointers for you guys to wrap this up. Cannot stress enough that you need to shut your fuel valves off. Obviously, you guys on your tanks, you know, we're talking about the, the fuel valve there. Shut that thing off. There's absolutely no benefit. There's nothing but trouble by leaving it on. In closing, I saw numerous people that said, don't touch the throttle, and I can't stress that enough. I agree with that. On this motorcycle, that is definitely the best technique. 
Turn the fuel on as a choice. You at least need the carburetor full of fuel. That makes sense. And then uh, pull the black knob, the choke knob. Don't touch the throttle. On a decount cam, you don't have to, but it seems to work pretty well. You can watch me, you know, as I demonstrated in the video, doing that top dead center compression, letting it re-ratchet, and then kicking it so you get a really good full stroke. Another thing I didn't mention, too, is kick it fast. You can't kick this thing slow and be kind of kind of uh, uh, soft on it. I mean, you need to get it in the right position and give it a solid, firm, as strong as you can, good leg kick. And this thing will fire up. I mean, I, I've done this, you know, half dozen times trying now because I want my customer to be educated on this too. I don't want him to go out and uh, him or her and, and be struggling or fighting with it, you know, when it's really just a lack of information on technique. Keep wrenching, stay tuned, and we'll see you again soon. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.